Teal 6280. It's a master's level pre-service principal class. It's a graduate class for teachers that want to become principals. So the topic is instructional strategies for diverse learners. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, diversity in the sense of ethnicity, but in the different ways that students learn. So the intention of the class is really to help teachers that are going to be principals, when they get into that role of being a principal, how they can help all of their teachers help all of their students. So I came up with a plan. And my plan was, this class is about instructional strategies for the diverse learner. Was I taking that into consideration as I was delivering this course? No, I was teaching to the same person, one person, same way. So I wanted to model this class content through the course. I thought that'd be great, you know, kill two flies with one swat. Um, I also wanted it to be student-centered. by visual, aural, read, write, and kinesthetic as the four major types of learning for adults. Well, I had the VARC, that was my pre-assessment, that was gonna tailor their instruction to them. So what does that require of me? If I, yeah, to teach in all four modalities. So what does that mean? I get to create four different classes, right? You're like, what, are you crazy? Yeah, I was crazy, but luckily I had some help. So I went to the city and Kenneth and Travis, they came up with this brilliant idea, and I wanna show you what it looks like in Canvas. So here's my course. They would come here, they would go to the start button, and I would talk a video that showed them overview, tell them the, the different learning styles. They would go and they would have to take the quiz. This is their very first quiz. It's a questionnaire, it was non-graded, um, but they had to enter their scores in here that would tell them their modality. And this is the first module. So knowing their score and being warned that there's gonna be different ways of learning, I present them here, and there's a video that talks them through it of choosing the path. But you can see right here, there's four different paths that they can choose. So when they would come to this module, there would be no content showing until they clicked or chose a path. So if they clicked on kinesthetic, let's go to kinesthetic. This is what would show up as their delivery. Now remember kinesthetic, what type of learner is kinesthetic? Interactive, hands-on, okay? Kind of figure it out on their own. That was my hardest one of coming up with. I'll uh, just say that one. And so this is their assignment. This would be their assessment. And I would match their content and their assessment to be very similar, that they would present their feedback to me in the same modality as they would receive it. So if they were kinesthetic, they had to present a project back to me, project-based learning or problem-based learning. If it was read-write, they would write to me. If it was visual, they would upload a video or a diagram or a chart. So if they had selected the visual for that week, they would receive their content here. Um, so you can see it would be a video. And this is not just a video of TED Talks. It was me talking through and diagramming and breaking down the content in that way. So essentially, yeah, I prepared four different classes. Um, in the audio, I had a podcast. I made a podcast of that week's content. They could listen on the go, they could download it, they could listen to it here. It was only audio, they didn't see anything. I used these formative quizzes. So at the end of every module, I would give them 10 questions and they had to pass with an 80%. If they didn't pass these questions, I encouraged them to go back and relearn it in a different modality. So this gave them the option to re-experience the learning. If you know IDEA, or the idea evaluations that it's the middle 50%. And I was there, uh, my first two semesters, I was there 50, 51, those are good, uh, they're acceptable. Um, and you know, and today in the keynote, she said the same thing, it's good, we, I can celebrate that, I was doing a decent job. But when I implemented uh, this learning pass, it jumped by 10 points. And so I was, they were excited, they enjoyed it, and a couple of the qualitative comments. I love the fact that I could learn in my style, and a lot of them, had never had an online class where they could choose the way that they received the instruction. So it was new to them. I absolutely love the way the class was taught. I've never had a class where I've learned so much because the professor took the time to get to know our learning styles. This is an online class. I never met with them face to face. I wouldn't probably recognize the student if I saw him in the hallway. Um, but this is a, a comment that almost sounds like a face to face meeting. This is every student that took the class, their VARC score, and what modality they stayed with throughout the, the, the semester. And so you can see some stayed with their modality. Most